Um, technology is advancing faster than the digital skills of our society, leaving uh, part of population uh, at the risk, the risk of being excluded. And when we talk about digital divide, we uh, discuss not only about how to uh, get access to technology, but also about the risk of uh, a great, much greater risk or deeper, deeper issue of social and uh, economic exclusion. And uh, uh, that's why we, we need to, to tackle uh, that issue in order to escape the uh, much deeper problems down the road. And uh, uh, there are a lot of different uh, stakeholders, universities, uh, uh, private sector, uh, governments, uh, schools, local communities with their own uh, uh, strengths and, uh, and ideas. But in order to be efficient, we, we need to, to cooperate. And that's why, uh, that's, uh, why Digital Skills Forum is, is important, because it is, it is a really very good platform to, to make a contact, to, to share ideas, uh, and to um, collaborate to find a, a, common, uh, a common solutions. Actually, maybe it's uh, uh, the best way to answer your, your question is by example. And I would like to, to take an opportunity and to share a Lithuanian example, which, at least one project which, which we la launched recently. Uh, a year ago, Lithuanian Communications Authority have launched a project uh, uh, which is called No One is Left Behind. And um, our, uh, the, our, what, how do we see ourselves in that project? We would like to, to, to be a bridge between public and private sector to create a platform uh, for collaboration. Uh, we, uh, we know that there are, uh, when we launched the project, we knew that there are a lot of various initiatives, uh, individual initiatives, but uh, in order to be, to be effective, we need to, to cooperate. And uh, we, are, uh, we are proud that uh, from the very start, this project was supported by the uh, president of Lithuania, which highlights its national significance. And uh, in, initially, uh, our focus was only senior citizens. Be, uh, despite the strong uh, infrastructure we enjoy in Lithuania and uh, uh, expanding uh, uh, digital, digital services, uh, part of the citizens or part of the communities, they, they are um, uh, left uh, uh, on the sidelines and especially senior ones, uh, fearing, uh, um, lacking digital skills and fearing digital uh, threats. So our aim was to, uh, we collaborated with uh, so-called th third age universities. Uh, uh, we have such a, uh, how to say, a platform in, in Lithuania, uh, which, uh, aimed uh, at the skills uh, uh, of, uh, of senior, senior citizens. So we collaborated with uh, universities and were teaching and having various workshops uh, with, uh, with seniors on how to, uh, to upgrade their skills, how to use uh, uh, digital services, how to sign electronically, what are the threats in the digital world, but so, uh, very quickly we realized that the demand is much much broader. So we expanded uh, our our workshops to schools as well, because you know it might be uh, strange that uh, of course uh, school children they are uh, born in digital world, they are uh, digital natives, but still they they are not are less aware about digital threats. 
And uh, so uh, our, um, our uh, workshops on uh, safe internet are also very popular. And uh, uh, so um, we also are inviting uh, 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 private sector to, to collaborate and to donate, uh, uh, for example, computers to, to the uh, uh, communities in, in, in need. So, and uh, what have we reached within one year? So now we have uh, more than 100 partners which joined the project. Uh, our topics uh, from five to uh, has grown, the number of our topics uh, we cover uh, has grown from five to 25. We, we teach uh, together with, uh, with partners, we teach very practical uh, things, for example, how to buy a ticket, uh, how to buy a train ticket, how to buy a bus ticket, how to use uh, uh, banking services, uh, how to uh, extend a driving license, how to make an appointment uh, um, uh, to the doctor. So these are very practical issues which, uh, uh, which needed. This project is a, a double, double side street, is a, like a double side street, because not only we teach, uh, mm, not only our citizens learn uh, digital skills, but, o but also we as public uh, officials and private sector, we uh, understand better what does it mean people-centered approach and what is, what is really needed for, for our citizens, what are their needs, what are their uh, requirements. And uh, actually we learn what works and what doesn't in our digital transformation uh, journey.